Hello and welcome to Genso Sky Drift. I can't believe this game exists. I'm so <laughs> so I think it was around the time that I finished uploading or at the very least recording. I think uploading one of the Toho oh uh, previous to a one shots and then this got announced for the switch and it's so funny I find it hilarious that this exists and I love it it's so much fun and, and anyone who has been watching my Toho videos thank you they're oddly popular on the ooh how do I play Okay. Oh. oh, damn, I missed the ramp. Still missed the ramp. Oh my god. Oh, so you do have to switch. I didn't, I don't think I've ever seen yours on top of Raymond, even so I didn't realize. <gasps> okay, there's no... Very least for that, you can't just fall off the course. I don't know what that... Oh, it's her spell. Bell's ready. But this honestly doesn't seem worth it at the moment because I don't really think I have anything to use the spell on. Wow! What in the hell, Marissa? What does yours do? Oh, yours is a bomb. Which well, that's actually pretty cool. Phew, that was a pretty nice racetrack. Come on, get it together, Edomora. So we lost sight of it. Oh. Uh, I've got. Tish, where'd it go off to? Oh! It's the Hakura a Shrine Maiden. Hakure a Shrine Maiden. And I'm guessing, I think it got you too as well. Oh, I can't believe that I got all the way down the mountain on foot. Uh, sounds rough. Yeah, sounds rough. Anyway, we're chasing after some black shadow. We think it went this way. A black shadow? What? Don't make us explain the whole thing. Come on, Marissa, let's go. Wait, you're running on top of her? Oh, I get it. That way they can share their spiritual power. Oh, we can't leave it at that. Quickly, Lady Suwako, get on top of me. Wait, seriously? We're really doing this. You got a boost, didn't you? I probably should break at certain intervals. Wait, is that why? 
I'm missing the... There's a drip mechanic isn't there that I'm just not... Oh, crap, assets. Shit! That was kind of close. That was very close. Literally 0 0.04 seconds off. <laughs> that mean I'm playing as Sane? <gasps> I am. Sane and Suwako. Okay, the issue with the control scheme is the whole drift aspect to it. It's very hard when the drift is on B and you have to press A. God damn it! Yeah. Ignore my phone. For the few seconds I was playing. Okay, so there's a burst anytime you switch characters. better. Yeah. Not a huge fan of that Forester, but also, so you have to press A, which I've been holding with my le my index finger, and then my thumb has had to rest on B, and it's just a weird kind of pincher thing that I'm doing with, I mean, to have two fingers over two buttons rather than having it on like the L2 is what I would prefer to be on RR2 oh wait okay now I'm Quashy ah oh my god this is trippy Wow, I'm not getting much off of this one. Wow, these corners are sharp! I also forgot about switching for speed boost, but granted, I haven't had like a safe boost point. Does this girl just control curly? But ever since I can switch to have Koichi on the bottom, this control is a lot better. <laughs> and I don't know why. So there is different. Okay, yeah. They do control differently. 
Rainbow and Marissa are very similar, so that's why I don't feel much of a difference between the two, because they're meant to be balanced. Balance. Sakuya, however, more tactical. Romilia, speedy, thus slightly harder to control. Then you have powerful Asane. Asane and technical Owasuako, which these two I didn't think I had too much of an issue with either. And maybe just due to the fact that they aren't so overblown in speed. Um, yeah. Koishi is much easier. Yeah, you're high in speed and mass, which makes you fast but very difficult to control. Which is why when I switched to Koishi, it made so much smooth sailing. Like, this has been Tokyo Skydrift. Very cute. I like the art style. The levels themselves are very simple. Oh, I don't think this is the most sound anyway. Like, I do think this is comparable. I have... There are... Let's see. What's a good way to describe it? It doesn't feel bad. At least depending on what character you're playing as. Like, to me, certain characters felt, okay, I can't ride you. But, it's to the benefit of you can partner that character with someone else. So, hey, maybe they have a good spell, but this one, and this one's easier for you to control. So you pick, have the one that's easier to control down below. Oh, and then have the one with a good spell on top together that, um, charge. However, there also can, like, there were little bits of boost, it seemed, when I was switching between the two regularly. So, it could also be to a benefit of having ones close to enough, enough to each other that can be comfortable to control no matter who's, um, the primary, or right, bottom or top on the case. So, anyway... I enjoy it. I'll probably play a little bit more of it, or of it, but that has been Genso Skydrift, and I'll see you in the next one, which is another one I'm very excited for. Alright, thank you, and have a good one. Bye!